Now, a new study says climate change could bring malaria risk to Ethiopia's highlands. Experts say Ethiopia's highlands traditionally have a built-in protection against malaria transmission due to the elevation and the cool temperatures. But Bradfield Lyon, a researcher at the University of Maine, found that since 1981, the elevation needed to protect people from malaria has risen by 100 meters. Lyon's study found that temperatures in the Horn of Africa are rising by an average of 0.2 degrees Celsius per decade due to climate change. Lyon emphasizes that this is a meteorological study with no evidence of malaria transmission. However, the research is pointing out that it is possible. The United Nations Office of Drug on Drugs and Crime has just released its latest world drug report and beware of opioids. In its latest world drug report, the United Nations Office on Drugs and Crime revealed some 250 million people used drugs in 2015. 0.6% of the global adult population were engaged in problematic use and suffered from drug use disorders, including dependence. Jean-Luc Lemayeux is Director of Policy Analysis and Public Affairs of the United Nations Office on Drugs and Crime. The number of problem users is in the increase. Now, that poses enormous challenges with regard to the health apparatus because so far, globally, only one on six of problem users has access to care and treatments. The UN Office on Drugs and Crime says opioids were the most harmful drug type and accounted for 70% of the negative health impact associated with drug use disorders worldwide. Opioids are drugs that act on the nervous system to relieve pain. They include the illegal drug heroin, synthetic opioids such as fentanyl, and pain relievers available legally by prescription, such as oxycodone or morphine. The continued use and abuse of opioids can lead to physical dependence and withdrawal symptoms. Disorders related to the use of amphetamines also account for a considerable share of the global burden of disease. The report finds that hepatitis C is causing the greatest harm among the millions of people who inject drugs worldwide. Thomas Pitchman is research officer with the UNODC. Close to 30 million people have taken a drug uh, equivalent to 0.6% of the global population. Um, issues of concern to us are um, the issue of uh, injecting drug use, from injecting drug use, you have people who get hepatitis C. Almost half the people who inject drugs have hepatitis C. Um, and a smaller proportion, HIV AIDS. This year marks 20 years of the World Drug Report, and it comes at a time when the international community has decided to move forward with joint action to combat drug abuse worldwide.